So two couples act on the cantilever beam, determine the resultant couple moment. So for this question, um, because we've again been given horizontal and um, vertical distances, it's going to be in our interest to figure out um, the horizontal and vertical components of each of these couples, um, simply because otherwise we'd need to do a lot of trigonometry to work out the separation distance um, perpendicular wise um, yeah, for each of them. And yeah, that's more effort than splitting into horizontal and vertical parts. So let's start with this um, couple produced by the five kilonewton forces. So we're going to end up with two couples. Let's go with the red ones and the blue ones. Okay. So let's call it MC1. Okay. And we know that it's going to be equal to um, the force of the couple multiplied by the separation distance. So if we start with the red ones, which are the vertical components, um, it's going to be equal to... 5 kilonewtons, we need to get the vertical part, so one way of doing that is to use the ratio of the side lengths. Um, of course if you wanted to you could solve for angles within this triangle and use them then to calculate the um, size of the forces. Um, however I think it's a little bit quicker and easier um, to use the ratio method. So using that ratio method, if we want the vertical side of the force we need to take the vertical side of the triangle and divide by the hypotenuse. So it's going to be 4 divided by 5. We then need to multiply this by the separation distance. Remembering that this is our equation for the moment um, produced by a couple. So the separation distance for these vertical ones is going to be the 3 meters. We then need to think about the direction that it's going to cause a, a moment or a couple. So if you consider positive being the anti-clockwise direction, these two together are going to try and rotate um, clockwise, so it's going to go in negative. Um, if you want to think about it, um, pretend there's a steering wheel here, and you're going to hold uh, pull the left side up and the right side down, and obviously that's going to then spin the wheel um, clockwise. Okay. So now we just need to deal with the vertical, uh, sorry, horizontal parts of the um, couple. So the size of them is going to be five, since that's the magnitude of the force. And then the ratio of the sides will be the horizontal divided by the hypotenuse, so 3 on 5. We then need to multiply by the separation distance. So between the horizontal ones here, we have 2 times 0.5 meters, which is the same as 1 meter. And then we just need to think about the direction. So again, if you think about it, it's like a steering wheel. This time you're going to pull the top to the left and the bottom to the right. Um, and it's going to cause this type of rotation, which is anti-clockwise. So it's going to go in the equation as positive. So if you simplify these numbers in a calculator, um, you end up with negative 9. And the units are going to be kilonewton meters, since all your forces are in kilonewtons and all your distances are in meters. All right, so now we just need to work out the second one. So I'm going to call it MC2. Again, we're going to need to divide it into um, vertical and horizontal parts to make it easier for ourselves. So these are going to be the vertical parts of the couple, and this is going to be the horizontal. All right, let's start with the vertical part again. So the length of this green um, force is going to be 6 kilonewtons, um, and we're going to need to multiply it by, um, it's going to be the opposite, so sine of 30. And then the separation distance for these vertical parts is going to be this 3 meters in here. And the direction of these two working against each other is going to be um, anti-clockwise. So it's going to be positive in the equation. Taking the horizontal parts of each of these forces, it's going to be 6 cos 30. Separation distance between these two um, is going to be the 1 meter between them. And the direction of these two working against each other is going to be clockwise, so it's going to be a negative value. So if you put both of these together, it ends up being about negative 2.2 kilonewton meters. 
So all that's left is to determine the resultant of both of these together. So it's just going to be a case of adding them. Um, if you want an equation to apply, um, you could say that the sum of the um, couples, let's call them MC, is equal to the resultant couple, MRC. And it's just going to be then these two added together. So negative 9, um, take 2.2. Okay, and it ends up being negative 11.2 kilonewton meters. Um, the negative is just telling you that it's going to be in the clockwise direction. So this here is the answer. So that's pretty much all there is for that question. Um, I'll see you in the next video.